what's going on y'all in the video lands I wanted to make another video to go in a little bit of a different direction this time um so normally I'll do stuff to share tips and hints and things like that and this is kind of a tip in a way um but it's a different one so I was talking to the lady and was discussing something that I kind of realized today. I posted something about it as well and basically was saying like the thing that I started, what was happening to me was I was doing intermittent fasting and I guess was getting into a bad mindset because, and let me explain, um, I started work this week, a new job, and basically my fasting hours were all jacked up because I had to get up way earlier and everything like that. Um, so therefore, you know, my calorie intake is all jacked up because I can't break when I want everything like that starting a new job in the middle of training and and all that um so basically what was happening was i started losing weight pretty fast um faster than what would really be healthy i'm not really worried about it anymore losing um i'm in the 160s now and that's fine with me um, if more comes off, I know that it may come down a little bit more as I'm putting on actual muscle now, because I've been, you know, using the adjustable weights, um, lifting and everything like that. Um, basically going from someone that had the muscle mass of a, I don't even know, a, a baby to something at least now, so, um... The more of it I get, the more of the calories are naturally going to burn off all day. Um, and because I'm walking around a lot more and everything like that, as opposed to the past couple months doing COVID, um, I, I was, I had my calorie count pretty low, which is why I was, you know, I got so much weight off. Um, and it's going to stay off, but, you know, I had to fluctuate the hours. I can't stick to the schedule that I was doing before. It's just not going to work. Um, but it's leading me into the issue that I noticed. So what happened was Monday is when I started the new job and I, my calories dropped all the way down to well under a thousand while I'm walking around a lot more and everything like that. And that's not, it was making me lose weight a little more rapidly. Um, yeah. But the thing is that instead of me noticing that and adjusting to fluctuate so that I'm not losing so fast, I was okay with it and was just letting it happen rather than maybe eating a little more or adjusting my schedule. I was just trying to stick with it and it wasn't working. It was making me lose weight way too fast. Um... So I wanted to put something up that's a little different this time. And the reason is because today it physically, I could feel it. I could physically feel it. Um, I didn't have, you know, the same protein intake that I would. My calories were ridiculously low by like 6 p.m. And that's not good. Um, and again, I wasn't, 
I was okay with it. Like, I was like, oh, no, I'll just deal with it. Like, I'll just deal with it. It's okay. No. That's not... That's not what we want to do. That's not good. You, you want to lose weight. You want to maintain. You want to do all that. You want to stick to your schedules, but it's not a race. It's your health. Um, and I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking like, oh no, I'm just getting healthier. I'm just getting healthier. Well, no, I'm not. Um, not eating is not good. Plain and simple. It's not. I know some people are going to argue and say they have their fasting times and all that. But the position I'm in, if I was to get the, the skin surgery... I would be probably down to about 159, 158. And for a person who's 5 foot 10 and trying to put on muscle, that's that's a that's low enough. That's low enough. You don't need to go lower than that. You really don't. It'll start to get that's when you start getting really unhealthy, unhealthy mindset, things like that. Um and like I said, I was starting to physically feel it. And today was when it really, I guess, noticed. Like, I could, I, my stomach felt like crap. Just total lack of energy. And it was the first time that I felt it. Um, I've, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I try and keep a record and make videos to motivate people but the I want people to do it correctly do things healthy the right way um, it's not a race there's no competition seriously it's your health so do it it'll come off if you notice stuff like this like you know like I said I'm in the 160s and it wasn't like I did something to mess with, like, um, you know, um, to, to make me absorb it all and then drop the weight the next day or any, no, this, I was tracking and noticed it. So it's, and it wasn't good. So I wanted to make sure I put something together to stop anyone else that may be going through the same thing. Because it's a mindset that you need to break. Um, I broke one before to get me where I'm at now. And the problem was I started developing one in the other direction. And that's also not good. But I wanted to make sure I shared. Because I know people are watching. And stuff like this also needs to be said. Because I don't see anyone ever really talk about this either. The one thing I see is people push it. Push, push, push. But you have to remember it's your health. And I hope people take that into consideration. I know that some people are going to disagree with what I say here. I don't really care. You're not me. Um... This isn't for you. Go somewhere else. Click on a different video. No need to get mad. You know? This isn't for you. This is for the people that are going through stuff like this. That need to hear this part. So that hopefully it breaks you of that mindset as well. And get you... Back on a... More... Sustainable track um because the other thing is, is I don't want to just drop it all and then it all rubber band right back because you know I just all of a sudden changed and now I'm eating a bunch of crap or anything like that um me I'm gonna up my calories some um, but it's gonna be all you know healthy uh I already started doing it today was the first time I really did you know I ate more salad than I would another you know, uh, protein bar, low calorie protein bar, quest bars, 
they're the shit. Tons of protein, tons of fiber, no sugar, one gram maybe, um, super low calorie, and you can't just like three bites and they're gone, for the most part, I mean, if you're smart, you'll try and stretch it out, but, um, yeah, so hopefully some of you take that in consideration, and have a great night. Blah, blah, blah. Keep losing.